So let's take a look over there at the other screen again. And there were several comments that I had written down, but this one from Jake, I think is pretty important. So we're going to read this one and finish with this. Uh, Jake Porter writes, I have had a hard time dealing with people in the past calling me expecting same day service as a one man company. I have never understood someone that just calls random contractors until they can find someone to get them the same day. Hey, I feel the same way, Jake. That's awful. That's awful. Basically, to me, it is mind boggling that someone would be that dumb to only value. I got to go downward here. Availability versus quality. It really does take a strong sense of entitlement to call companies at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. in the afternoon and still expect to have someone at your house before the close of business. You know what? He really puts it really well. And there's a tone here. It's uh, I don't know if it's just me, how I listen to it or what Jake meant. But it's a little bit aggravated and people will do this. They feel like you are, should be just running around and you do cater to their needs somewhat because you have a company, but some of them are over the top with how quickly they expect you to be there. And he's addressing this here. And I experienced this as a company owner. This is very difficult because he's going to get into that right here. Let me keep reading here. This is Jake Porter. I'll continue. In the past, I would literally kill myself working 90 to 100 hours a week in the summer to try to meet that same day demand for all these new customers calling me. It's hard to get new customers, so when someone does, someone new does call, you want to retain them. However, I quickly realized that the most of the customers that most of the customers calling and demanding same day service don't care about you, bent over backwards to make their house the same day because they don't value quality. The only, they only value same day service and feel entitled to it as your customer. They honestly are too uneducated about their HVAC system to even know any better. Jake is, Jake is ticked off. As a result of my findings over the years, 99% of the time when a new customer calls me and they start out the conversation that they must have same day service for this reason, or they call late in the day and expect same day service because that is what they feel they should get, I will immediately pass on the job. I just let them know that I am booked up and can't possibly make it happen that same day. I offer the next day or whatever day I might have free coming up. I don't care if I'm sitting at home twiddling my thumbs with nothing to do. I absolutely will not take those service calls. From experience, I have learned that I do not want those types of customers. Yes, it hurts the wallet passing on paying jobs, but I don't want that type of entitled customer on my books. That's a tough one, man, because I know exactly what Jake's talking about here, because there are people. And if they feel that way, if they feel that way when it first starts, then they're going to continue to feel that way as time goes by and nothing's going to change. And if you don't cut loose of them at the beginning, you may have problems in the future by that same token. You may be in a position where you can't do it. You have to take every single living body that calls and try to make them into your customer. And that's understandable too. One of the things that I was joyful to do is when I was running a company and I got to the point where I did no longer have to go out to those service calls. And maybe I said it was because of the service area. I don't recall, but letting go of a few customers over the years was a pleasure, a real pleasure. And it's nice to be able to not have to subject yourself to that kind of treatment from customers because the customer's always right is uh is true and untrue at the same time some of them are out to lunch with how they perceive you should work and what they perceive they should pay and going through that non-stop over and over again wears you down and being worn down and having the money is not as good as being relaxed and having a little less money so I'm with Jake. I think it's a smart thing, but you got to be in that spot as a company owner a few years down the road before you can really embrace that sort of thinking because it, it won't happen early on. Take a look one more time at that comment. And now he's exactly right. Sometimes one day companies, I just want to get a little refresher real quick looking at it. One day, one day companies, one man companies can't always go out same day. They just can't offer that service because it's not possible because they are one man companies. Now you have larger companies that can shine in this area and sort of outdo one man companies by having that availability all the time. You have that tech that's always on call. You have someone that can come out at 2 a.m. If you want to just pay the money for it. One man companies have to set boundaries because if they don't set boundaries, 
they're going to get run over and run down real quick. And I know that from experience. I experienced being run down, reaching my breaking point. I still remember the day when I was just, just I was done, man. I was done. It was just one call after another. And as soon as I got in, there was another call and it was far away. And I just, I was run ragged. And then one of my kids was having a screaming episode at night that night. And I was just done. Uh, it's tough, but you got to draw the line because you feel like you're cutting out your own legs financially, but you're not. You're saving yourself in the long run because with a good head and a rested mind, you're going to go a lot farther than just trying to take every single living body. It's just not going to work out, I don't think. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.